Hello and welcome back to RamboCraft, episode 13. And if we turn around, we can see the entire, almost the entirety, of the whole shopping district. It is growing. It has grown a lot since we first began, and it is uh, looking absolutely amazing. But there is something that could look better. And that's this. Mycelium is cool. But it just doesn't look the greatest. As you can see over here, Endavar has done an amazing job at making this look amazing. And while I won't be able to make it look this cool, I can at least try and make it something similar like over here. At least just grass. Now before we do that, because that is a project that I want to do today, I want to convert some of the island into grass. Because it, it just looks so much more cool. I still think leave the mushrooms though because I think they look nice with the grass. But before we do that, we have this thing made by Chaster. So we we used to have a diamond pile right here for when we get a uh, chunk of land. But now it has moved to this amazing looking statue. And I must say that is looking amazing. If you want to see him build that, go over to his channel and check it out. Um, because he, he shows it off with shaders as well, and it looks absolutely amazing. So now, I don't know if there's a ladder, but, I mean, most of us has an elytra now. But, worst case scenario is just to bridge up with some blocks. <laughs> but, yeah, this is where we place our diamonds now. So this is going to be really, really cool. I do want to see if we have gotten, if anyone has uh, won the, the prize we put in in the last episode. They have. They have. Let me let, let's see how much gravel and sand we now have. Actually, let's see. Oh wow, <laughs> that's loads, loads of gravel. This is this is over a shulker box for. This is working great. This is working absolutely amazing. By the way, we do actually have some traffic on the server right now. We have Beastly on, and we have Endavar and myself. It's cool. Beastly is actually working in the shopping district right now at his chicken shop thing. Um, he's actually live streaming at the moment, but I, I won't spoil anything. But yes, that is what we will be starting today's episode off with. That is converting some of this mycelium into, well, grass. Now, I can actually look at Beastly's shop from the outside right now. And I must say, I love the build. Oh, there he is. Oh, now he's gone. <laughs> I love the build here. I absolutely love the build. Looking really, really cool. But anyways, I think it is time to get started. Let's get to it. Let's um, let's bring out the shovel and let's get converting. This, in my opinion, is a lot better. Look at this. So I changed pretty much all of the mycelium inside the shopping district, not only in my areas, but also in other people's over here. If they want the mycelium, I can place it back. I have a silk touch shovel. But in my opinion, and I think everyone will agree <laughs> on the server, that grass is a whole lot better. But look. Looks so good. Now I did run out of actual grass blocks, um, 
so I can't really continue. I would love to like continue over here, etc. But for that, I will need to get more of this grass block stuff. So, um, but yeah, that this is the progress so far, and I think this has really made the shopping district look a whole lot better. Um, yeah, I think that is a job well done. As you can see, this is all the mycelium that I have removed. And that is a, yeah, that, that's one job done for this episode. Now, another thing that we will be doing in this episode, obviously I need to restock the fireworks shop, but that's not the main thing that we will be doing. We can actually see that I've been here getting grass from my own island. But if we go in here, in this hole, I have done a little bit of prep work. So as you can see, we have these torches and all these pathways here lead over to the edge of the base. What I need to do is I need to mine all this out and mine it down. I don't know how far down I will need a roof so I don't see all this. So I need space for roof, I need headroom and I want it quite tall because what will happen is that pipe over there will lead down to the basement and into a storage area. So that is the next thing I need to mine out this area. But I do have a haste 2 beacon so I can pretty much insta mine all this stuff. So that makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, to get to get through this small nightmare. Um, so it shouldn't actually take too long. And uh, yeah, I guess that's another time lapse. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to get the storage system going for quite a while now, especially because if we look in here now, like my storage here is just barrels and it's starting to be unorganized. <laughs> <laughs> which indicates that I need something bigger and better. So, yeah, let's get to it. And there we have it, the hole has been dug. Now, I am actually not quite done digging the hole. Um, I actually need to dig it further in that way, about 10 blocks. But anyways, this is the, the ginormous hole that we dug. Unfortunately, part of the, uh, what, what, what's it called, the footage. Um, apparently didn't record even though I thought it did. Um, so you didn't unfortunately get to see the whole thing, but um, you will get to see more digging, don't worry. Now the idea here is that we will have an elevator at the very center of the base and then over here, this is linked up to our tube, which is up top and up there. And so back here is basically where we will be doing all the item sorting um, because all the items that will be coming from the farms will be leading into the big tube right over here and then we'll get sorted down here. That is the plan in a way. I have realized that, wait, where did I? Oh, here's my redstone box, ow. So I have realized after getting a bunch of research done to what redstone stuff that I need, this ain't enough. It, it might be, but it's gonna cut it, uh, it's gonna cut it close. Um, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have a bunch of uh, chests now, which I hope this should be enough for now, um, but we will see. The idea here is the items will be uh, sorted back here at this tube, and then we will, in the wall here, we will have basically a bunch of silos. Um, I have come to the calculation of one, two, three, four, eight silos in total on this wall alone. Um, plus we might actually add some here, I'm not sure yet, um, for storage for all the farms and such. And actually, now that I think about it, we can add 16. So either eight or 16 rows of chests, which will basically just be able to be filled up with uh, farming related things that we have around the island. So we need a bunch of redstone mechanisms for sorting and redirecting and items and all that stuff. And on one of these other walls, we will have normal item sorting. So for normal items that are not farm related, just my personal storage. 
Um, and then also a small area for my shulker boxes, because I definitely will want some more with different stuff. Um, and then the, the rest of the space will definitely be used for like auto smelters and all that stuff. But that is the idea down here. So we have a lot of work to do. Oh, yay, I can sleep now. Primarily at this point in time, we will transport slime, gunpowder, and sugarcane. Now, I am gonna grab a bunch of diamonds because I am gonna be needing to be spending some. Let's head on over to the shopping district, take a look at a few things, and uh, shop a bit. Whoa. Um, I haven't mentioned this, but I haven't been on the server for quite a while. Hopefully, by the time this video is uploaded, I will have uploaded some sort of update video on why I have been gone and whatnot, but I assume this is end of us doing, and as usual, never ceases to amaze. <laughs> Alright, let's go through. Alright, let's quickly ch test it. Test check. No, check the shops here. Nether riches. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, so we have sold three of our netherite ingots. Okay. That's good. We have one left in stock. Seems like we need to uh, uh, restock that. Do we have sold any slimes? We have actually sold some leads. Okay, that's good. And some slimes. All right. That's good. That's two diamonds from that shop. And the fireworks shop. Now, I previously actually already took a bunch of diamonds. I think it was 18, 16 or something like that from this chest right here. Let's see how much we got now. All right. So basically, uh, so that's 9, 18, 19 diamonds from this chest right here. And no diamonds from this one. All right. Cool. What do we have here? This is a new shop. Three stacks for one diamond. I don't actually know who has made this. But this is so handy. Now I don't need to worry about wool or anything. Look at this. I love how it's like connecting and everything. Ooh. Okay, that definitely need to keep that in mind in case I need wool because that I can imagine that happening. Right, this is where I need to be. Please have restock. Yes. <gasps> Honey blocks. Okay. <clears throat> this um. One diamond, one diamond, one diamond, one diamond, one diamond, one, 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 one. Right. Hmm. That is like 28. 24 diamonds or something I used, and I am not gonna regret this whatsoever. Ever, because I'm gonna be needing all of this for the future projects inside my base. All right, I think that is the shopping that we need to do. I just wanna, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's this? That's new. This is new. What's this? Trident Vendor 3000. To purchase, place 20 diamonds in barrel and wait. Warning, light off equals out of stock. Oh, I must say, I love the build, but oh, here's the thing. I believe I have my own trident already, uh, obviously not in there. Question is, will I get a fully repaired one, an enchanted one? Hmm, I, I'm going to keep that in mind. That is definitely cool. Oh, wait, we have something else up here. Ooh. What's this? Chase this Trident Enchantments. Oh, wait, hold up. This I might need. Trident Enchantment Kits. Each kit is 10 diamonds. Kit 1, Kit 2, Kit 3, Kit 4. Loyalty, Unbreaking, Channeling, Piercing, Impaling. That's an, that's an amazing kit. How much? 10 diamonds? Impaling 5, Channeling, and Loyalty. Okay, Impaling 5, Channeling, Loyalty, Loyalty, Channeling, Impaling, Impaling, Channeling, Loyalty. Loyalty, Unbreaking, Channeling. Impaling, piercing. Don't mind if I do. Uh oh. Uh 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 uh. Enter 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 chest now. <laughs> enter. I'm not. This this is not stealing. This is paying. This is paying. Just you know, I had to go to the bank and you you know to do, do the thing. Right. Each kit is ten diamonds. 
Why, thank you. Let's go get a trident, I guess. But first, I need a mending book. Do hokers sell these? Mending eight diamonds for two books. Wait, what? Eight diamonds per two books. Wait, is he selling like two mending for... I'm slightly confused. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pay eight diamonds for one book. And if Hocus sees this video and it's... I've paid too much or too little, let me know. But I think... Am I supposed to buy two books? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what? There we go. That's fine. Um, I'll have to check up on him with that. Uh, but anyways, this has been a pretty good shopping, uh, shopping spree <laughs> right here. Um... One thing that I want to do, not in this episode, but potentially in a very soon future one, I want to combine all my shops. Uh, and it, that was actually um, suggested down in the comments, uh, I believe from the last video, to combine my shops because, well, as it can make sense to like do one shop for each item, it would make much more sense to, for example, combine these two, make one huge building, and then, sorry, losing my voice here, and then like, fill them out with chests, kind of like in the vast emporium over there. So I think that is something that I'm gonna do. I don't know anything about the design or anything, but that is definitely an idea that I will uh, be actually doing. So thank you for that. Keep the suggestions coming. And I can tell you right now, by the way, that our prank, it worked. It has gotten multiple people and I don't think everyone has figured it out yet. Right, I need to organize my inventory here really quickly. Oh yeah, uh, I didn't check the bunker club. I'm pretty sure people told me that there was new stuff in there. Um, right. I may have to go back for that. Or I will have to check it out in the next episode. Aha! I do have my trident right here. All right, well, with these books, I guess we could go ahead and enchant it. Now I can't, I could go ahead what did I get on like this? Okay, I don't even have 30 levels and I'm not about to go to the end to do it. Let's just get this stuff on it. I could enchant it first, but you know what? It's fine. I just want this thing. I'm bringing three, loyalty three. All right. It goes. <laughs> Channeling. Right. Piercing and impaling. So that is loyalty three. I'm bringing three, channeling and impaling. Right. There goes the anvil and all my experience. I still need the mending on this thing. And how much will this be? Nine levels. All right. That I can hang on to. Right there. Uh, I believe... Actually, I do not have my ender chest over by my place. Okay. Uh, let's get over here because we need to do some stuff. So this is our tube right here. And this is basically where all of our items will go down into. But I am actually going to cut it off right here. We will have water going down from the top, but at the bottom here, we will have hoppers going into chests. I really did not come prepared for any of this. So right here, we will place cobblestone and chest. And then we will do hopper that points into the chest and then hoppers pointing to the middle hopper. Eh. Like so, remove the cobblestone. And then we will just have hoppers basically pointing it to the hoppers that points into the middle hopper that then points into the chest. So basically whatever item drops here will be funneled into the middle hopper and then into the chest. Perfect. So all the items going through the pipes will end here, will be pushed down into these hoppers right here and collected and then put into that very chest. And which from there, they will be sorted. Which is the bigger uh, issue we need to deal with. Because at this point in time, all we have is a big hole. And I need to basically dig this back, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much this much, actually. That's perfect. I need to dig all this out. So this whole wall will basically contain chests and redstone lamps, as I said before. So what we will have, I need to be careful not to do the wrong thing here. Let me see, one, two, 
and then another two, and then one, one, two, 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 and one. We can kind of see the pattern. Now, if I were to do, that's double chest. If I were to do single chest, that would be one, two. Actually, let's remove all these. <laughs> Time for some math. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, six. Right, and then over here, if we did the same thing, that would be one, two, three, four, five, and another six. I think this is how I'm going to do it. So we will have one chess row here, which could actually still be a double chess. So never mind me just being dumb. Um, so what I want to do is basically replace all of these with redstone labs. That's four, five, six, seven. I think I want to go seven up to begin with. Seven should be good. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and yeah, let's go eight. Let's go eight. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just want to be careful that I actually do this right because we will also have things on that wall, and I don't want that affecting this wall. Am I making any sense? I've decided that it's going to be fine, so let me continue placing these, and I will be right back. That was kind of fun, to be honest. <laughs> okay, uh, I also need food. Uh, I'm, I'm a mess, but uh, it's fine. All right, so that is the rest of lamps done. Next, if we take a bunch of chests here, so this would basically be one column, right? And we would have another, 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 and a nut there, okay. And then we will have even more over here. So here, 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 and here. And then it would basically just cut off. I don't know what I did there. Like that. All right. I think I like this so far. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and place all the chests in and then put a top on the put this basically on top of the redstone blocks, and then we can continue from there, because then it will be a lot easier to visualize what is actually going to go on. And possibly I'm gonna dig this whole thing out as well. I have haste too, so it should only take a few seconds. All right, after a bunch of digging and placing, and actually some of it was terrible uh, <laughs> to do, but actually it went okay smooth. Um, it, it wasn't too bad. So here we have it. So out here, we have the frame right here, of course, the stone, then we have the chest, then we have the redstone lamps, which will indicate when a chest is full. Then we have the item frame indicating what will actually be in the item frame. Um, and I'm pretty sure we have a data pack installed that will make the item, fra item frame invisible. If not, it doesn't matter. You can still see the thing light up. Um, and yeah, then on the opposite, then on the other side over here, we have the hoppers. And I think this is gonna go okay. Now it's on to actually getting the flow of items to get to the chests. Um, it's gonna be fun, right? Yeah, fun. Fun, fun. But guys, unfortunately, we have reached the end of this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, we will be finishing off this whole thing, meaning that we will get to doing the item sorting and all that good stuff, making it work so we can start hooking up the farms. I also want to, of course, yeah, finish the wall over here so it actually looks nice. That also means adding water to the tube, of course, so we can directly start ho hooking up pipes uh, to our big pipe up there in the base. And I potentially also want to maybe try and move my portal, basically uh, hooking up my portal to Endeavor's ice system if I possibly can. 
because I, I really want to do that. So yeah, those two things will be on the main uh, thing for the next episode. And of course, I need to add an elevator here as well. So that is definitely for the next episode as well. So we have a lot of stuff to do. Um, but yes, anyways, really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And if you want to support me even, even further, you can go ahead and check out my Patreon page link down below in the description. But that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Bye.